Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop right into this reading and see what your person's emotional energy is for you, Pisces. All these cups and stuff flying out. All right, let's hop into it. What is this person's emotional energy for Pisces at this time? All right, they, they came out fast here. We have the sun, the nine of cups, the death card, three of wands, and three of cups here. All right, Pisces. So Pisces, with this three of wands, it was calling to me. I feel like your person wants to open up this connection. They want to be more open in it. They want to be more expressive here. Feel like with the death card, you were dealing with someone who maybe did not open up emotionally, but passionately. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this person has had some type of transformation around how they really feel. I think they starting to be more honest with themselves here. And they just want to open up here. Because you're a wish fulfillment to them. Not only are you a wish fulfillment, Pisces, you everything to them. Here with the sun, the happiest card in the deck, you bring them joy. You bring this person joy here, Pisces. They love hanging out with you. They love celebrating with you here. They love being around you, interacting with you and other people. You're a big wish fulfillment here, Pisces. They see that this connection, you know, could be a big success for the both of you. And they're satisfied with that. They're satisfied with fulfilling you emotionally, with making you happy, with, with making whatever necessary changes they have to make to open up this connection, to enjoy it, to celebrate it, to be happy here. That's beautiful. All right. So let's see. Why is this three of wands here? What is this person wanting to open up to? No, not this deck. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's use the Stranger Things deck. All right. So what does this person want to open up to Pisces? Wow. Hold on. All right, I apologize. They flew everywhere. So what does this person want to open up to Pisces? What does this person want to open up to Pisces? Oh, wow. And we have the Ace of Spokes. It's the Ace of Cups. This person want to open up their heart to you, Pisces. Somebody wants to come in and love you the way you're supposed to be loved, the way you deserve to be loved, the way you want to be loved. Hell, the way they want to love you. Somebody just head over here, heels for you. That 9, 10, 10 of cups, Pisces. You everything to this person. Wow. This person want to open up their heart to you, Pisces. That's what someone wants to do. Someone wants to come in and open up their heart to you here. Let's see. What are these changes here with the death card? What's changed? What's changed this person? And we have the Ace of Strands. And the Two of Cups was with it. Well, that's the sun. It was there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> but we have the Ace of Strands here. Which is the Ace of Wands. So this person changed because they want to birth this connection here. They may want a second chance here too. They want the opportunity to love you. This person didn't give themselves the opportunity to love you in the past. And they want to open up to you and offer you this love, Pisces, with a, with a whole bunch of new beginnings here. Something they feel like they can have success here with you. You are emotional fulfillment. They want to fulfill you. They are satisfied here with you, Pisces. You make them happy. So this person... You know, may not have opened up emotionally to you in the past. And right now, they're hoping that they can have a breakthrough here. They're hoping that you can accept them and accept this love and go on this new journey with them. 
This person is ready to open up their heart to you, Pisces, and have a new beginning here. Possibly starting a family. Hmm. Let's see. Why, why does Pisces emotionally fulfill this person? And we get the world card here. Maybe you remind this person of a grandparent or parent. Maybe you remind this person of the love that only a parent or grandparent could give them here. And I feel like that makes them feel whole. That makes them feel complete. Because you have a special type of love. The type of love a mother would give or a father would give. And that's what this person is fulfilled with, with you. Yeah. You know? They feel like you're family. Like, you're, it's just like they, they are emotionally attached to you here. It's deeper than just, you know, let's play around. No, this person really, really, really loves you like family. They want to grow old with you here. Pisces. They want you make them feel whole. They want to start a whole new chapter here with you. So let's see why is the sun here? And we have the Knight of Strands, <laughs> which is the Knight of Wands, Pisces. This person loves the way that you have fun with them. How chill you are. How accepting you are. How it's easy to please you. You know what I'm saying? They feel like you don't ask for much. Like, yeah, dude, let's just eat some pizza, hang out and watch Netflix. You know, we don't have to go spend all that money and do these big things. They love the fact that it's the small things that make you the most happiest. That melts them. That's why I was feeling they was all warm inside. You melt their heart here. You light the fire in them. You are their passion, their wish fulfillment, the love of their life, their happiness, their joy. You someone they could communicate with and just enjoy life with. We don't have to do big things. We don't have to go to these extravagant places. Those extravagant places are right here at home. Wherever you are, Pisces, that's where those extravagant places are to this person. You know? They like the fact that you're down to earth here. So what is this celebration? What is this celebration? What is this togetherness here with the Three of Cups? I'll just take the one off the top. And it's the four of dice. It's the four of swords, Pisces. They feel like, you know, having you is the party itself. To be able to have you in their energy, to drink with you, to chill with you, to, to just be around you. That's where they feel at ease. That's where they feel their peace. They feel like they can rest just by enjoying you and your family or you, them, and the friends or whatever. Just being around you is soothing to this person. They just feel like, you know, home is wherever Pisces is. Wherever Pisces is at, that's where I'm most comfortable. That's where I can relax. I, I, I mean, that's where they just chill. Like, it, nothing's going on. Nothing's wrong here. It's like, yeah, the four of dice, the four of swords is about recovering, you know, rejuvenating, getting your energy back. You know, but it with this card and this little hut and that sunset and that fire lit, it just looks like this person is at peace when they're with you. They're at peace when they're with you here. Like, I can't even make the Four of Swords nothing else here. And that's beautiful. They're at peace when they're with Pisces here. I know I'm just going on and on because it's beautiful here. 
Let's see. Is there anything else this person want Pisces to know? One card at a time, please, if possible. Okay. And we have the Ten of Strands, which is the Ten of Wands. And I feel like it's just been a burden without you. The thoughts that go through their mind, the love that they have for you, the passion. This person feels like they have to start back at square one, A, B, C, back elementary style. You know, that's what I was feeling. Look at that hand. Like, you know, they reminiscing here. They think about you, Pisces. They may even draw little pictures for you or wrote a book about you here. But being without you was the biggest burden. Being without Pisces is the biggest burden for this person. So is there anything else this person may want Pisces to know? The fool. They want that new beginning. You know, wherever it leads them. They're aware of this here. And it's like they're facing the fear here coming in. But they do want that new beginning here. They want to come out of the darkness and into the light. You are their light here, Pisces. You are their light. And they want to have that beginning with you. They want to have that new start here. Is there anything else Pisces person want them to know? Is there any other messages here? The high priestess and the emperor. This person is taking a stand for what they want here with that emperor. They're following their intuition. They're doing what their heart and their mind, body, and soul is telling them what to do. Stand up and get your girl or get your man. Open up. Express that love here. Ask for a second chance. You know? Give Pisces your heart. You know, it, it's just that they're doing what their intuition is telling them to do. They can't help themselves. If they were holding back this before, you can expect them to be coming in here. Because they can no longer keep this from themselves here. Like I said, being without you is a burden. You are their light here. They have to take that stand. They have to take that chance. They want to take control over it before somebody else gets you or something. But this person has a whole lot of love for you, Pisces. And I haven't done a reading like this in a while where I can feel the love here. It's like so much love. And I ain't even talking passion. I'm talking about real live love here. So I hope this resonated with someone. Let's get a word from the Chakra Wisdom. To promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. All right, Pisces, I want to pause that for a minute because I can't help but to look at the temperance that's at the bottom of this deck. And this, and he got a phone in his hand. This person might call you because they want to balance out their emotions for you. You probably could be expecting a phone call. You know, from this person. I don't know why that was so important for me to say, but it was. All right. So let's see. Please come in with the most relevant chakra for Pisces, right? And we have the third chakra. And this is the solar plexus chakra. And this one is relevant to the warrior. I embrace my inner strength, power, and resilience. And I allow myself to shine. I've unfold my full potential as an empowered person with a true sense of who I am. I grow in consciousness as I overcome and transcend life challenges. I need the warrior inside me for the journey ahead, and I am courageous in moving forward. The warrior is our positive energy for the day. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have for you, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.